And we are back. It's your man Odell from Odell's Roundtable, and I'm joined by my guests. Let me just introduce my guests real quickly right here. Uh, a true beard aficionado, uh, someone who was early to this whole beard and grooming game, uh, started his following and is uh, has a faithful following from the ground up, this grassroots level, uh, entrepreneur, uh, someone here who's just heavy into this men's grooming, but even more importantly, black men's grooming. Also a father, a health enthusiast, uh, just an all-around cat that's just out here sending out positive vibes. So without further ado, I have my man, Brandon Patton, a.k.a. B with the Beard. How you doing, brother? Man, I am doing well. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you guys for just uh, allowing me to come on your platform. Oh, man, no, that's, that's what it's all about, man. That, that, that. I, I'm so happy to be at the round table. Yes. Um, I like this man. Oh, there you go. Yeah, sorry. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure the people hear you, brother. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so I'm so grateful to be here at the round table amongst yeah. great men like yourself. Hey, man, I appreciate so, you, appreciate man. That. We we do our best, man. I mean, that's the whole message of it. You know, we come here every Friday, try to provide more value. You know, so let me ask you this: So, when did you kind of get into this whole business of beards and whatnot? Right, like when did you kind of get this thing started? Well, um, at first when I, I started, it wasn't so much of a business. Okay. It was a passion mm, to help. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, I, you know, because for me, I didn't, um, I saw that, you know, there's things that I was, I felt left out. Right. I felt left out. I felt that um, the information, um, like all of us on, in some type of industry, we've, mm. there's information um, that, that could help propel us. Right. Um, and we just didn't have it. And, and so for me, when I went into onto this journey of just learning and researching, you know, when you get, for me, when I get information, you know, I don't just hoard it. You don't sit on it. I don't sit on it. <laughs> right, exactly. So I started giving it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One turned into 10, 10 turned into 100, and then got to the point to where I needed a bigger, I needed a, a bigger platform. Right, right. Yeah. It, it, it's organic. So that, that's a great thing because, and so here's what's so funny about that, right? Think about it, right? So you get into it as just a passion, right? And you want to help people. Then you turn around and look, I mean, it goes from like a niche market, right? Right. To like, you know, uh, mainly like college professors wear beards and stuff, right? Yes. To now, I mean, it's trendy. Uh, you got products in Target and CVS. We I mean, in. you got it all around the – I mean, I was in Seattle a couple of years ago at a panel talking about beards, right? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's so across the board, and I'm, I'm sure you run to the same thing. I mean, we, me and Jay Black talk about this all the time. Um, it's an 8 million gazillion podcast. Mm -hmm. So now there's like 8 million – you, you go from like it's just like a novelty right. to like everybody and mama got a beard product. Right. Everybody and mama got a Absolutely. beard oil. So how, what are you doing to try to help – you, you touched on a little bit as far as your education, but what are you trying to do to separate yourself? Um, for me, it's all about um, – one is it's a we, we look at grooming as a whole, right? Okay. And then not only okay. do we look at grooming, but we look at it from a holistic uh, perspective. Mm, okay, um, okay. You know, it's not about pushing products. It's 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 about of course you got to have the right products, but it's about the lifestyle, right? And it's about your grooming habits. Yeah. So um, for us, that's how we you know we've always even I mean I've looked back if I go back to my earlier videos, I've been consistent with this message. Yeah, that's very true. That's about very true. that. Yes, you need products, but understand that everything starts from the inside out, right. not the outside in. Man, you know, it's like, it's like you, you jumped to something. I, I was going to touch on that <laughs> next thing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nah, sorry. No, nah, no, you're good. No, I, I love that because <laughs> so here's the thing. Like from uh, a nine to five standpoint for myself, I work yes. in like health and wellness, right? Mm -hmm. So I get off. I get asked quite often. People come to me and I say, so Dale, you know, I, I know I need to do better. I know I need to get healthier. Right. But what, what's, what's, the, what's the supplement I need to take to, to lose weight? Right. right. What's the magic supplement I need to take, right. uh, you know, say to feel better? What's the magic supplement I need to take to yes. gain muscle? And I'm like, you know, you kind of just said the answer. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm like you said, I don't want to just say, hey, uh, there's some magic supplement because it's not. Right. It's a process. Absolutely. And so I, I know I ran to that, right? So mm -hmm. here you are dealing with people who are trying to grow a beard for mm -hmm. one. I mean, I know it's all grooming, but let's right. talk about beard, beards, right? Absolutely. So they're, they're trying to grow it, and they're coming to you like, yeah, yeah, I know I need to do this, this and that, but what's the, what's the secret? <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Does that, how do you push past that and, and, and not fall victim to trying to give them a quick response? How do, how do you push past all that? Because I know it's so, it could be frustrating at times. Yeah, yeah. No, I get a lot of people who, who want me, who wants me, who want me to be a, uh, you know, a magician, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, you know, 
<laughs> don't come to me looking for like that the magic, the, trick. The magic bullet. That's not, and that's what I tell people. If you're looking for a magic bullet, then this is not the space for you. Right, um, right. You may need to go to somebody who's going to be happy. I'm looking for. I want to. I want to connect with people who are looking to make transformations, mm, not okay. transactions. Okay, okay. So all that's right. that's how I, I address that. Man, that, that's that's so true because, like you said, they're looking for a magic bullet and see a transformation. That's the thing about it because think about it, right? So um, it's about having the patience. I'll, I'll segue that into like even with business, right? right? So here's the thing, right? Like having that patience, like you, you're telling people they like, have to have patience Absolutely. to grow your beard, Absolutely. the process, the intrinsic, like those things translate to business. Exactly. It's life. Yeah. It's lifetime. Speak on that. It's, 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 and, and that's how I, I, par- I parallel it. It's right. like, you know, this, uh, on this beer journey that we've been on, it's no different than life. Mm-hmm. Things take time. <laughs> Things take patience. You have right. to evolve. And not only that, but you have to, uh, you know, some people want it, you know, they want it now in the instant gratification. Right, right, right. right. No, that's not how, it's a journey. Yeah. You know, your, your, your life, every step is a win. Right. Mm. So you, okay. you look at every step that you take. That's a win in life. Don't you know, if some people want to uh, uh, put their life in like this one quick snapshot. Little capsule. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's not what it is. You want to look at your life as a culmination of great things that you've done. All those great steps that you've done to get to where to where you are or where you right. want to be. Man, I like that, man. I, I like that because that is so true. Uh, I mean, I want to touch back on other thing you said, like the transformation rather than a transaction, transaction. because it reminds me of something when I had, I had Shay Lawson on, on the show. Okay. She's an attorney and she would talk about how, you know, a lot of times she had no problem turning away money or turning away a job if it's going to question her integrity. integrity. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, and, I feel like I get the same vibe from you. And, and that's the, and that's the, t- and that's the always, that's always been a challenge for me because mm. in business, it's business, right? Right. right. Business profit has, and loss and stuff. Profit and loss. It has no feelings. It has no emotions. It's, yeah. it's what's on the sheet, right? Right. So there's it's times where I sacrifice. Like I was sleep. I was homeless, right? Mm. At one point, and then I was sleeping on a couch doing this. Right. Like, like the table. I would be at the table taking phone calls. <laughs> right. And right. My right. Cou- the couch is like caddy corner, you know, to the yeah, left of yeah. me. I'm sleeping on my cousin's couch doing this for, for nothing. Like I wasn't getting paid. Right. Right. So so I sacrificed. Mm. So for me, but I knew that 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 it wasn't about the instant gratification. It was about serving people. And sometimes when you serve people. Right. You have to think about the, you have to you have to put the people first before you put you first. So when you start putting the people first and understand that Man. there's a bigger purpose, there's a bigger calling on your life, yeah. then the reward, that's going to come. Yeah. You, the re, but for me, the reward was getting responses from people like, man, you impacted my life. Man, now I'm doing this better. Now I'm, I'm drinking water. Mm. Now I'm eating better. Now I'm thinking a little bit better about how I look at myself, right, my self-esteem, right. yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So those, to me, that was, those, my, those were the wins. Right, you know, right. The, 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 fina- the financial aspect of it, that's just the icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. And see, that, that's, that's why I, I was excited to have you on the show because, like I said, I knew we were going to talk about uh, beers, we are going to talk about grooming, right. but also, too, is just that, you know, how it translates into business and everything. Right. You see we have the products on the, on the table. That makes it, to me, looking at these products makes it even more in-depth because, like you said, to see where you came from yes. and to see the love. Yeah, and the, you, yeah, you and, was there. <laughs> to see the love and the yes. sweat that you put into it to get to that. So, listen, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to keep talking with B. I mean, some great stuff. We're also going to talk about his products and also see what he has going on, you know, see about a West Coast move to Atlanta and everything like mm-hmm. that. We're going to just touch on it, man. So sit there, stay tuned. Odell's Roundtable. We'll be right back. 